Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles, good or bad, in your way, um, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip-flop it how you need to. Uh, also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Virgo. Some heavy energies that's been around you guys. Like that one. Whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. There's a lot of heartbreak, a lot of loneliness on somebody's side. But let's see what the future holds. Leave the past where it sits. Yeah, there's that damn heartbreak card. Or you just could possibly be separated from this person right now. If there's not, like, you know, heartache going on. It could just be some type of distance or some type of separation. Alright. Interesting. Alright, Virgo. So, we have the Queen of Wands. Um, damn, with the Ace of Cups. So, there's, there's something new that started here. Um... It could have been with the Aries Leo Sag. It doesn't have to be. It could just be like somebody you're extremely attracted to. Could have been a Capricorn or an ex here. Um, the Queen of Wands, you know. Okay. And we have the Queen of Swords. So, hmm. Virgo. We have two... Two female energies here. What's up with this? Alright, so maybe you've had some choices here. Somebody has some choices. Trying to start something new. It's like um, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And we also have... Okay, with that at the bottom. So there's definitely some ego here. Um... You know, there definitely could have been two female energies involved. Doesn't have to be. Um, it's almost like this went from hot to cold real quick. Because um, this could just be you, like, somebody finding you really attractive here. And then, you know, you just kind of turn them down. It was It was just too hard here. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords. So somebody was kind of hard-headed here, um, out for their selves type of energy. Show me this Three of Swords. What the hell happened here? Why do we have two females? It's, it just feels like it went from hot to cold here. There definitely could have been two females involved yet here, um, especially with this at the bottom. It doesn't have to be females, but it's like somebody is kind of going back and forth or trying to make a decision. Um between two things, or I'm sorry, two people, or this could have just been a situation where shit was just going real good, and then all of a sudden, it went south, um, with the seven of pentacles, though, it's like trying to make a decision where to invest your time here, because somebody is, like, extremely guarded here, this person could be at a distance from you, um, this is not the outcome, okay, so this could have, this part could have already happened, this is just the stitch here, but, yeah, some, something is moving forward in your favor. And it could be with someone at a distance. Could be with the Taurus here. Um, somebody's kind of just seeing you in this light. Seeing you as, like, something long-term here. Um, but somebody is going forward towards their happiness. There is something new that started here. Yeah, definitely could have been a, a, a decision here or some type of messages that kind of came in really quick here. Um, because, you know, the sun is here and the will of fortune. So two major arcanas, but this is the happiest card in the deck with the empress. Um, you know, this is, this is somebody seeing you like something stable, something long term here. Um, all right. So, you know, somebody definitely could have got. Or is, you, you could be ghosting somebody here because this is your energy here with the Hermit card. 
and that five of pentacles so either like somebody is ghosting or kind of getting left behind here because there is something new that you're starting or that you've been waiting on to start and it could have just made you kind of come off cold here but there is someone moving forward towards their happiness could be a sagittarius here but it's like they're letting go of something. Something has ended. It just became too heavy here. Um, could have been with a cancer. But it's like. Um, it definitely possibly happened really quick here. Somebody literally could. Um, like be driving off here. Something has ended. And some somebody is, is like walking away here. It could have just been like the weight turns you to like a cold, like an energy, like, um, you know, kind of guarding your heart here because there is heartbreak around this. Tell me about this queen of wands, please, for Virgo. Three of cups. So for some of you guys, I mean, there was a reconciliation here. There is something new that has started with you. Um, it's like somebody is trying to come back and rebuild this. They want to move forward. They're moving forward towards their happiness. For some of you guys, there's a third energy here. like somebody is no longer interested in the drama here and they're they're going forward down a path show me those four of cups because the wheel is turning in your favor but the queen of wands can kind of be like that that other she's like the mistress of the deck um and the queen of swords is the one that kind of comes off um She's a more logical thinker. She she protects her heart because it has been broke. So she kind of keeps it on the back burner here. Um, there's been like some waiting or somebody investing time and energy, you know, possibly in, into um, more than one place. But there is something. There is some type of reconciliation. There's something something new that started here and somebody is moving forward um towards their happiness it could be at a distance this could be a um a tourist or a sag that you're involved with but this is like trying to heal this relationship trying to take it to like a new level of trust here show me this four cups for virgo please four cups for virgo this is your energy here for the outcome and there you are at the bottom, um, kind of healing, um, not wanting any type of drama here. The king of pentacles for the outcome, that is your energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign here. Um, but it's like he, he's rejecting an offer. He's, um, you know, you kind of could be getting bored and fed up with this person as well. But it's, it's the same five of pentacles. For the outcome um this flipped over earlier like somebody somebody is getting ghosted here they're kind of getting left behind and left out in the cold possibly like you know somebody is just paying attention to other things but it's like this offers right here in front of his face um so that's kind of like what he's focused on here Yeah, bottom of the deck. There, I mean, there's an ending, and I feel like it's it's gonna happen fast, um, or it did happen fast. But this is about communication here. Somebody is moving forward towards towards their happiness, or has been, um, but it, it, it's not going so well. Definitely could be somebody at a distance, like somebody putting in work with somebody at a distance here. So I'm not sure, you know, it definitely could be like somebody trying to make a decision, kind of, you know, going back and forth between two things now. So it's like they're holding back. They're like paying attention to other things here and somebody is feeling this King of Pentacles is like, 
either feeling left behind or he's ghosting. And that's your energy there with the um, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, there's a new cycle beginning for somebody. Because that, that's the Ace of Cups is here at the beginning. Definitely could be a Capricorn, but there's somebody stressing here, like, um, definitely overthinking, over worrying here. Um, this definitely could be some type of toxic, toxic relationship here. Um, possibly like a codependent relationship because it's almost like somebody is rejecting an offer and they're holding back, but at the same time, they're not letting go. So it's kind of like they're just bouncing back and forth here, whether this is you or them, I don't know. It definitely could be like two energies that you're trying to choose between. Don't pay so much attention to like the male-female part. Because for some of you, this, you know, this is a general reading. It's not, um, everybody. So it's not third party for everybody. For some of you guys, you know, there's a decision between two people here. There's a whole lot of holding back here um, for the outcomes. Like somebody is going back and forth here, not interested, not paying attention, and leaving something behind as a result of that. Yeah, bottom of the deck. It's like somebody is cutting out something. The Ace of Swords is about speaking your truth. And it's also about cutting out what no longer serves you. And that's what this Queen of Swords does. If somebody is, is walking away, they have their back turned towards this right now. All right, Virgo. Hope this brought you some clarity in some, some way here. Um, uh, so please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Yeah, bottom of the deck. It's like there's some truth. Somebody is is it could be work related. Um, not really feeling that, but somebody is going moving forward at a very determined rate and like putting in the work towards something here. Definitely could be some sneakiness around it, or just some um, less than honest behavior, I guess. All right, Virgo. Talk to you guys later. Bye.